Amun's accommodation is in people's names who live in a lot. You can say, Amun came from Bob, and it's my passion, and love for style, and fashion that you always sustain. I am Miko Kapler, and I'm the lead stylist and founder of Amun. That's for you, it's a thing that I'm building now, which is Amun building now. So, when I got lost, and I had to decide again what you really want, what is it really bad that you desire to do? It is no, it would go this way, it would get this way from a fashion style. We want to be known as the fashion style that to go to for all these times. What did that do? At Mama, we strive to be proud of the girls, even in men alive, through personal fashion style. We want to spread the message that the way we present ourselves to the world has an effect on our personal world. Fashion isn't just superficial, and it is also not a scary place to make your dreams. Alma's purpose is to carve out their clients' authentic self, and that includes figuring out or enhancing their take on their own snap of fashion. Whether it's commercial pollution, a special occasion, or simply curating one's world, a ease of service to help achieve the desired use of I want your clients to feel confident, talented, and not even about themselves. Without losing their unique style, I want them to feel empowered to be passionate. Staying true to your authentic self is not your style as a Your style is not defined, but it is your true self that defines your authentic style as Congratulations again to you on you know evolving you. your business. Uh, again, you started with a uh, fashion brand and now you've uh, evolved into a styling firm. So, what do you what do you think made you want to move towards that direction? What was the idea behind that? Okay, so yeah, at first it was a fashion clothing line. Yes, clothing line. But then I soon realized. Um, Making clothes yeah. wasn't really my passion, but yeah, I'm in the fashion industry, but it wasn't, it wasn't, there wasn't, there was no, no, no spark. Yeah, 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 there was no spark. Start. It's just that I'm in the fashion industry. Okay, I'm supposed to be. Am I supposed to be yeah. happy? But then I, I assumed yes, I wasn't. So like, I realized I was on the styling, styling, um, side of the fashion. So that's when I, so that's when we decided to. Um, Branch out. Um, no, um, like evolve into, evolve into a fashion style. So usually people think, you know, when it comes to fashion, you're either a designer or, you know, uh, yeah. But you, but also there is something about styling as well. It's very important because that's what really makes it a, a whole look when it comes to these uh, different fashion brands also. So that's what you guys decided to do. And you also want to, wanted to reach out to the everyday Filipino yeah. as well. So Yes, because fashion is for everyone. Yeah. But people get so intimid intimidated nowadays that's because true. we have so little fashion styling firms in the metro. In the Philippines actually. And I feel like people get so intimidated because some styling firms are just for celebrities. I want this to be inclusive. I want this to be for everyone. The day-to-day -day focus, I've said earlier. So yeah, that's why I, almost for everyone. So we're talking about people who are, you know, someone who wants to impress a, a client or someone who wants to start a new job and wants to look really good and yes. feel good about themselves, right? So they have Alma to... To power themselves. Yes, yes, to help them out. So this is a great thing that you're doing. So how do you think you are going to be able to help out your ideal client in a more specific sense? So uh, do you help them figure out their whole outfit? How does the okay. process go? So because we, we see the client as much as possible if the clients are free, we see them and then we talk to them. And we get to know them. We really try to get to know them because style is very personal. So we want to know their personalities first and then from there we start um, curating their outfit and of course ask them if they like it because it's very personal and we want we want the clients to be um, confident and comfortable about what with what they're wearing. 
So usually when we watch like these all these makeover shows, some people give them an entirely new outfit that could be different yeah. from their personal style or their personality. Yeah. Um, we're kind of different from yeah, them because so we do not dictate exactly. We just enhance their style. So it's very important that you really get to know the different individuals so that we know something that they can really use and enjoy wearing. Yes, so right. if uh, we have a lot of friends from the media here who would like to share the word as well, how can they get in touch with Alma if they would be interested? We're all over social media now. Uh, we're still trying to um, get them on social media. You can just, you know, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook, and we have www.almaapps.com. All right, so they're all over the internet. You can check them out if you want to learn more. But now is the best way because we are actually going to be having our little styling session yeah. with Mika herself and their stylists also. You know, I, I personally am really looking forward to this exploding because I myself, I also like to dress up and enjoy, I do enjoy fashion as well. But like when I have a, a certain special events, it can get really stressful. So it's great to know that you have someone you can ask for help can from. Just call us yes, as well. Well. Definitely. We'll be there. Yay. That, okay. So uh, we're, we're really trying to bridge a gap here between um, our designers as well. Because in Alma, you're also going to be featuring a lot of local brands too, right? Yeah. We try to incorporate a lot of um, local brands because we're a styling firm in the yes. Yeah. But we also do use um, high quality uh, designer brands, international brands. So it's really a mix. Mix. It's making sure that you have a little bit of everything to complete the personality of whoever yes. you're styling. Now let's get to the heart of the program and showcase our different creative process of uh, when it comes to Mika and her team. So styling clothes is not easy because apart from taste, what's very important? It, it has something to do with instinct, talaga, right? Yes. So sometimes you know you look at an outfit and you just know in your gut if it works or not. So, Mika and her team are here and they have that particular instinct that we're talking about that makes their work pop. And on top of that, they put the wearer before the clothes so that the clothes and accessories will complement whoever is wearing them. And fashion does not need to int be intimidating. It can be fun and uh, something you can enjoy as well. So, may we please invite our Alma stylists on stage, Mickey and Pear, a round of applause for them, please. They will be joining us now as we have our different models as well come in one by one as we uh, do the finishing touches or we talk about their outfits also a little bit more. Please don't forget if you guys are going to be posting this online, please use the uh, hashtag styled with Alma and tag at Alma FSF so that we may repost your stories too. All right, so let's begin with our first model for the day, or our first pair. May we invite them on stage, please? We have a lovely female model. She's joining us here to the right, and we have a male model. Now, please take note also that the items that we're going to be seeing today are a mix of Ava's pullouts from different designers, as well as personal items from the models as well. So, Mika, could you talk about our first set of outfits? Okay, so first let's talk about TJ's outfit. So this is a classic style, right? Classic yeah. look. Classic look. Because wait, before that, we have four style personas. Okay. So that's classic, laid back, romantic, and creative. This one here, this pair is the classic look. So me and my stylist help um, them figure out what they really want. And they said, they both said that their the, the personality is kind of, you know, on the original, just original and wearable clothing okay. pieces. So, so they're wearing something classic, like this is a... Something that will never go out of style, yes, something yes. that looks good for any occasion. Yes, um, this can be um, smart, casual, yes, like, semi-formal, yeah. like, you just put, you just um, add a suit or like a coat or a blazer that it, it can go formal or big. So, yes, it's a very classic outfit. That's a beautiful, you look great right now. So yeah. you feel very comfortable in what you're wearing, yeah? And that's the most important thing. That's the, yes, yeah, so, and also he looks very presentable, like when you said, you know, he can go from day to night, he can go from casual to a little bit more dressy, just uh, touch, add a touch of a, a coat. So uh, in our female model, so maybe you okay, can talk so about Okay, so this is also classic. It's just that 
there's a little style here okay. to enhance the classic um, outfit. So we've got the uh, a polo, but in this yes. case, it's got a, a little bit of rouging here also. Gold piece. Oh wow! Okay, so it's like an overlap. Yeah, yeah, it is. Sort of. and there's a tie on the back, which looks very classic. But at the same time, it's got a little quirk. That makes her a extra, sexy. Yeah, a, a bit of sexiness would never hurt anyone. It makes her, you know, pop, you know, if you see her in a, a, a line of different people wearing their usual polo and pants, yeah. she's just going to pop out a little bit, not just because she's wearing red, but also because she's got this tiny detail yeah. right by her. And this is, a, I, I would guess, her asset, her, her asset as well, yeah. a tiny waist. Well, she's very comfortable with, her, with what her wearing is. And you look very good today. You look great. Okay, so maybe Mickey and Pierre can get into uh, their finishing touches. What is uh, Mickey going to be doing? Okay, so she, he just um, made him use this bag, this um, Louis Vuitton bag. And well, it's ready to go. So you can go from you know going to the office, or if you need, it's a Friday, and you're going to be going out of town, maybe to Tagaytay. Yeah, you're ready, right? <laughs> And as all you did was add a touch of like a duffel bag yes. that looks really classic as well and complete his look. I feel like you're stepping out of a magazine now. But at the same time, you still look very comfortable. And uh, we are going to be adding uh, some finishing touches to the look of our female model. Add the bag again. And she's ready to go. All right, so we added a beautiful white bag to her outfit. Is she now lovely? Yeah. Uh, and could you give us a little twirl? All right, she looks extra confident, right? So thank you very much to our first pair of models, the classic look, ladies and gentlemen. How about a round of applause for them, please? Giving us an idea of what we can do to our classic outfits, whatever we have in our wardrobe currently, to spice it up a little bit more. May we please invite our second pair a little bit more about the look? Okay, let's start with Nicole. Yeah, okay, so this is a romantic look. This is a romantic look. Um, she likes the she likes these colors, like the, the neutral ones, but I had to add a little pop of color. Pop of color. So I mean her wear the red, why is that? Okay, so uh, it's I, I love how you mentioned that you know it's about what Nicole usually likes. So yeah. Nicole likes neutral colors, black and white. That's always easy to use. But you wanted to add a little something to make it more special. Yeah. So and add to the bit. Yeah, to, the, to make her a, a bit more interesting. So you added the red sling bag. Beautiful. Can you, know, it's, you can do it as a cross body bag as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you're going to be moving a lot, that, that would work. She could wear that for a bit, I think. Yeah, that's right. Do you have a date tonight? I think that's the perfect time to go. <laughs> <laughs> How about our male model? Can okay. you talk so, about this look? So the romantic look. Um, He's a, he has a bit of a romantic guy, okay. but also a little creative. Okay. A little creative. So romantic, he should um, kind of uh, wear something formal. But okay. since he's a bit of a creative okay. person, so we made him wear this floral coat. So you're really incorporating his personal style, so his personality. So usually with a romantic look, you want to go for something quite dressy, quite formal. But since he's a creative guy, you wanted him to be a bit more fun. Yeah. And it really works. You look great, by the way. Do you have a date tonight? You, I think wow. you will have one now. <laughs> Thank you very much to our two models who are giving us the romantic look. We hope you guys are getting high. You're running through your ex You're still a little sexy, right? Yeah. Okay, but you're just going to show him that, no, oh, I'm not trying hard. I'm just naturally sexy. So we've got, what is she wearing right now? Okay, so this is the edit. Um, as we all know, the edit is a local brand yes. by the Jujun Wilson, yes. so let's see Sam and Please boy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so they've got great stuff. Yeah, so they look at the added um, dress. And so since so she's a bit um she wants a bit sexy dress okay. and her laid back outfit. So maybe you wear that. Wow. wow. Dress. <laughs> <laughs> See that um neckline. Yes. That is a wonderful dress. Yes. Okay, you look great by the way. Okay, so um you are usually the very relaxed type, but you want a little something there, you know. A bit edgy. So I think we've got it with this outfit. May we look at the gentleman that we have over there? Okay, so Carlo, he's wearing his own 
sweatshirt. Sweat sweater. Yeah. Okay. Very, he he wants something really comfortable. Okay. So yeah, we made him wear that and a pair of boots because that that's what he likes to wear actually. Oh. He likes to wear a pair of boots most of the time. So that's what he made him wear. So you know when you're wearing a sweater, you feel like you can actually fall asleep in it, and you can you feel like you're very cozy. So you look stylish with the, the neckline. It's a sweater, but it's a stylish neckline. Plus the boots really make the outfit. Do you feel good in your outfit? You feel like you can fall asleep in that period. Right? You can relax in that. Well, so, <laughs> well, let's not. So then we can be more productive. So uh, they've got the laid back look going on, and maybe we can ask uh, our stylist. So what would you add to spice it up a bit? A hat for her. Yeah, yeah. That's the norm. Oh, lovely. Yeah, she looks so. That just. So sometimes you know you think you have the complete outfit and you look cute and all, but you can add a little something that just makes you look much, much better. That's right. So it just makes you look um, editorial in a way, right? <laughs> it's still wearable. Yeah, but still something that you can still feel good in. Just you know push yourself a little more to the edge just to make it more interesting. So the hat really completes the look. How about for our male model? What would we be adding? Oh, no. I think he's good. good. He's actually, yeah. I think he looks really great. He's right? very presentable. Plus his glasses really make the look as well. So there are those accessories that can really work in outfit. How about a round of applause for our laid back hair? Thank you very much for being here. And I think we have one final model for like, but you don't know how to make them work. Yes. So that's where all my comes in. Yes. So uh, how do you feel in your outfit today? Do you feel good? you feel like you can uh, rock the world with this look as well? You look great. and. Those are really fun uh, boots as well. You look awesome. How about a round of applause for our great style persona? Thank you very much to, are we gonna add a little, little something? Oh, we do have something, okay. To add to her outfit. Yeah, the little pop of color. Oh, okay. Could you please join us once again? So to make her outfit even more interesting, because she already is wearing a lot of her pieces, you just put it together, what would you like to add? A little pop of color with a bag. A nice bright orange bag, yeah. To just make her even more stylish. Yes. Wow. Looks <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> Makes you feel good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much again to our beautiful models who have joined us today. Uh, you know, again, as a stylist, Mika and her team really have come together to bring out the personalities of our models through the use of local, foreign, high-end, and affordable fashion pieces or fashion pieces to create these different and unique looks and. Although, like we mentioned, you previously studied, studied design, your passion is really curating and design and making it even yes. more creative. And if I'm not mistaken, you uh, pre-styled all of those different looks. Yes, with the help of my co-stylist. It helps that you also got to know your models first, right? Yeah, we have to, because then we won't know how to make them feel more comfortable with what they're wearing. All right, thank you very much to Mika for uh, helping us out and for teaching us about what we can do with the different pieces in our closet, with how to put them together. We look forward to learning even more from you and when we visit you at Alma. And uh, that's about it for Mika for now. I think our models are quite ready to uh, give Alma. So ladies and gentlemen, please check out our beautiful models that have been styled with Alma. Round of applause for them, please.
our gorgeous models today. Please don't forget to use our official hashtag styles with all my 